guys this is for those people that want me to do the um breaking on tutorials for them so i'm gonna do it today so i'm sorry that i didn't upload this today <clears throat> it's because of some um um unforeseen circumstances Th thank you so that is why i couldn't upload anything yesterday so today i promise you i'll be uploading two videos today so i'm going to be um bringing this guy right here so let's get on to business you know, you should know this is 2017 um, version and this is awesome. We have a, a new feature here on rigging and it's called Rig 2. So let me start. This is the guy and there is nothing, there is no bone on this guy. So I'm just going to go to Windows and look for Animation Editor and go on Shimanaike. But now we have another thing. I will just go to Skeleton. Origin and I'm gonna go to skeleton and on the skeleton you see quick rig that is a magic button seriously you need to trust me on this so um this is the guy I want to rig and instead of um, the way we used to do it that I need to be selecting bones and uh, the joints one by one this is just one click rigging process so I'm just gonna select the guy and one click I have step by step, so I'm, I'm gonna show you the one click before I um, start on the step by step. So let me auto break and you see the magic. Yeah, so um, the issue with this is let me um, isolate the x ray. You can see this um, bone right here, this joint is not supposed to be here, it's supposed to be at this place, but because of that thing, that auto rig is not always perfect. That is why we have this issue. So because of this, I'm just gonna use the step by step, and you see how awesome this will look like. So let me undo this, or I can go to this is the um quick rig character that we selected. So it's assigned; it's automatically assigned the rigging to this character. So I'm just gonna this is the quick character. So I'll just delete this, and it's gonna go away. Go away. So um now we use um step by step. So I'm going to assign new one, create new character. But this character that I created now, it doesn't uh, attach to any character yet because I didn't select this. So I need to select this guy here and click on step by step. And after that, I'll come here and assign it to it. Add selected meshes. So I will add this mesh, this character to this rigging um, setup. So this is the guy, and this is the name of the mesh that I'm using so the next thing now is to look at the things we want to use uh this is but in perfect mesh the guides let's leave it that way and the resolution 256 is okay it is cool and going to this place we see box and box yes that is what we want so um the spine three let's leave all this that way just gonna um create an update create an update now yeah so i have the joint as you can see this um was the joint we had before this joint over here the elbow joint it's not supposed to be here so that is the essence of the one by one uh auto rig that i selected so we can adjust this and mirror it here so this is the left hand side so i need to select this guy and go to my autographic view press f to zoom hit in and press w to translate that bone so let me move it to this side and look at it from the front view, which is the Z axis, and press F again so that you can adjust that guy. So adjust it that way. So after um, you're done with this, to mirror it or to move the other side, you don't need to go through the stress of moving the other side. All you need to do now is just to go to this um, icon right here and mirror the guy. So you see it's moved. That is magic. Seriously, guy, you don't need to um, undergo all those stresses of um, making uh, bones one by one. You just can choose the one click button. So let's go on to do um, the second thing that we need to do right here. Go to the um, side view and adjust it and go and click the other thing that we click the other time and you there. So um, we are done with that. And let's go to the effective view again and adjust the shoulder bone. Bring it up. I think I made a mistake there. Let's go to the autograph and move it up. And I think it's cool over there. Let's go to the side view. It's cool. And press this icon again. 
it's going to mirror the um, edit. Yes, you can see it. That's because we're looking at it from the view, side view. So I think we're good to go, almost good to go. Let's look at this side. This one, it's not uh, at the point. So I'll move it and mirror it. This one also is supposed to be at the ankle. So let's see. Yes, move it down and the mirror hit. Yes, this one also move it to this side and mirror that. So we are good to go. We are good to go. I think all the um, joints are where they are supposed to be. So the next thing now is to <clears throat> create skeleton over this joint. So um, I will come down, right down, right down, and I will see skeleton setting skeleton settings and you need to check the t stance correction you know this guy this mesh that we have right here it's not in t shape or t pose so we need to select the um t stance correction so that it's uh it's going to um attach the skeleton as if this character is in t shape so that is why you need to select this check it and mirror behavior yes cool right that is what i want skeleton and control the gears we're good to go so now <coughs> now now i need to select create and update the skeleton settings and see the magic guys you need to see this magic so i have my skeleton but note this if i press the control here and i move this thing it's not gonna move the mesh um, along with alongside with it that is because i've not skinned the skeleton to the mesh so um let me undo this and the next thing now is click on that mesh again and go down number five i have the skinny so i'll just click on the skinny create updates so let me select the guy and so i think it's done so if i press uh, the control right here and i move this guy around so it's come to anywhere but i'm still having issue with uh the joint uh, that is because i need to do work on the um paint like the weight painting so i'm gonna get back to that tomorrow god willing so guys thank you for watching um, this tutorial i hope you like it and share with friends and please subscribe while really need your support please subscribe and i uh, you could is saying that we shall be meeting again in peace and not in pieces so you is saying peace out